Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for the Your Daily Prayer podcast. We hope these few moments of prayer and reflection are encouraging to you as you go about your day. To get all of our episodes straight to your phone during the week, just subscribe to this podcast on iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcast. To find more prayers, devotional content, and blog posts, we would love for you to join us at iBelieve.com. A Prayer to Put on the Armor of God by Debbie McDaniel Do not be afraid of them. The Lord your God himself will fight for you. Deuteronomy 3, 22 We may forget at times, but one thing is true. This world is a battlefield. Day by day, hour by hour, we face a spiritual war and an enemy who's real. He wants nothing more than to bring defeat, for his main aim is to steal, kill, and destroy. God has a plan for our lives. The enemy has a plan for us too. We just have to decide which voice we're going to listen to and who we're going to choose to follow each day. And chances are, if we don't make a determined choice to follow God, we may eventually fall into the evil one's trap. God has given us his word and spirit, powerful and true, so we'll have the wisdom and protection to stand against the enemy. We focus today on putting on his armor, staying alert, and praying that God will equip believers everywhere to stand strong. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm, then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, and pray in the Spirit on all occasions, with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints. Ephesians 6, 10-18 Pray with me. Dear God, today we put on the full armor to guard our lives against attack. We put on the belt of truth to protect against lies and deception. We put on the breastplate of righteousness to protect our hearts from the temptations we battle. We put the gospel of peace on our feet so we're ready to take your light wherever you send us this day. We choose to walk in the peace and freedom of your spirit and not be overcome with fear and anxious thoughts. We take up your shield of faith that will extinguish all the darts and threats hurled our way by the enemy. We believe in your power to protect us and choose to trust in you. We put on the helmet of salvation, which covers our minds and thoughts, reminding us we are children of the day, forgiven, set free, saved by the grace of Christ Jesus. We take up the sword of the Spirit, your very word the one offensive weapon given to us for battle, which has the power to demolish strongholds, alive, active, and sharper than any double-edged sword. We ask for your help in remembering to put on your full armor every day, for you give us all that we need to stand firm in this world. Forgive us, God, for the times we've been unprepared, too busy to care, or trying to fight and wrestle in our own strength. Thank you that we never fight alone, for you are constantly at work on our behalf, shielding, protecting, strengthening, exposing deeds of darkness, bringing to light what needs to be known, covering us from the cruel attacks we face even when we're unaware. In the powerful name of Jesus, amen. Amen.